Good morning, Internet. Adam Bate here from WebSaversHosting.ca, and this morning we're going to do just a quick demo video on removing an email alias within Plesk 9. Now, the last video we added the email alias, so in this case we're going to show you how to remove that alias in case you want to change it for the account. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just log into your Plesk 9 hosting environment. Um, you can find that through the, the Client Center at WebSaversHosting.ca. Click on the Client Center button in the top right. And once you're logged into the Client Center, you can click on the Access Plesk button underneath your hosting plan. So this will automatically log you into your control plan panel. And from within here, we're going to click on Domains and choose the domain name that the, the email account is associated with. So in this case, there's just one domain. So just choose the domain name and then click on Mail Accounts. Now here we're going to pick the email account that we want to remove the domain alias, or sorry, the email alias for. So in this case, it's contact at websaversdemo.com. So we're going to go ahead and choose this one. And as you can see, we have the three email aliases that we set up uh, for this account in the previous video. And in this case, let's say staff at websaversdemo.com wasn't a very good alias for this. Um, perhaps we want to use this email account for some sort of uh, group or mass um, redirect or forwarding email account to get sent to all of our staff uh, instead of being delivered to the contact at websaversdemo.com account. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. Just check that box off. Click remove. And again, just like the mailbox itself, we have to confirm this removal. Click OK. Now, just so you know, that won't remove the, the emails from the account itself. That'll only stop forwarding email uh, that's being sent to the staff at websaversdemo.com address uh, to the contact mailbox. Uh, so in this case, that's all there is to it. Now, uh, like I mentioned, the staff at websaversdemo.com no longer receives email. Um, and in another video, we'll show you how to use that account to set up a mail group to make sure it's being sent to all of the staff. Um, I hope that that was helpful. If you have any questions, you can reach us on Twitter at websavers, or as always, open up a support ticket, and we'll be happy to help. Enjoy your day.